Have you ever seen someone that you admire and you wish you could emulate? And it may be that somebody's approaching you because there's something about you that they admire and emulate and they want to learn from. They might ask you a question. They might just make a comment. And, but there's a reason they're making it. Because those are angels noticing something about you. And or maybe they're asking you to be the angel because they're trying to learn from something they see you doing. Being an angel in someone's life is not always this grandiose act. I think that we can really be angels in every interaction that we have throughout our daily lives. And I think that we do that through being present. And then from there, having the courage to speak out. Coming together to be of service, to contribute in ways that matter, to feel like we're part of something bigger than ourselves. Help me realize how important our connections, our relationships with each other truly are. Right? People don't just want to be told great stories. We want to feel like we're part of a great story. And that starts with community. So be vulnerable, aim high, be sincere. There's nothing better than having deep relationships in life. This, the concept, if you're going to be able to bring, be, and become your best, it's got to include, you know, bringing, being, and becoming your best with the best people in your life. Be engaging, be interested, be interesting. To quote uh, Father Beretta, be who you are and be it well. Why are we on earth? We are on earth in order to embrace vulnerability because that is the way in which we will form meaningful and powerful connections with one another. And that is the way that we will make our difference. And whatever hand we've been dealt by life, it's in choosing that path of vulnerability that we will find our true selves, our true vocation to make a difference and to form connections with one another.